Good morning, my people. Uh, well, you never really know what you'll get in this channel, right? One day you might be replacing engines, replacing suspension components, uh, might be teaching you how to operate your key fob, showing you uh, hidden tricks with your car. And sometimes, like today's video, it's gonna be on how to operate your car. Basically things, to how to make your life easier when you own these cars. So I'm on my way to work right now, 754-ish. And what I wanted to talk about was audio. Uh, so right now I'm playing the radio. And I think today's video is one of those that I know will be playing a lot of audio, most likely copyrighted music. So um, <laughs> probably if I try to monetize it, wouldn't get much money. Actually, would not even get monetized, but I figure it's one of those that I can put out there to really help the community. So FM, right? And I've shown you guys in previous videos, I think in one of the M56's old videos, I. Uh, I showed the different ways to play music. You have FM, you have Bluetooth audio, and Bluetooth audio, you know, just hit disc, aux, just hit that a couple of times. Right? Music box, Bluetooth. And usually, by the way, when you have um, a device in your USB port, USB port, which is inside here, when you have a device inside a USB port, you hit that button as well and it will recognize it and pick it up. So today's um, today's option, I'll be talking about music box, right? Music box being like a computer, basically stores music. You have a hard drive in, in certain models, not all models definitely, um, but you have a hard drive in there and it saves music and I'm gonna use this button to do this menu. Let's crank it up a little bit. Some of this music came with a car, so like I, you know, I didn't really pick it all. I didn't really, but you have your now playing. Well, let's see what's playing right now. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Go back. You have a music library, which shows you all, oh, you could do it by artist. Oh, look at that, Tupac and Snoop Dogg, huh? You have by albums, which is typically how I do it. Right? Um, so anyway, let's let's go back to let's go back to FM radio. And uh, so what's music box? So what's the advantage of music box? Music box is for is a storage method for people who've got a lot of music on CD and want to have this collection handy without having to carry the CDs all around. You guys remember back in the day, um, uh, you'd have you know a whole CD case. Where do we usually put it? Like on your on your visor, or for some people you had a a case. Yeah, I'm one of those that had a case in my glove compartment, and not that what I'm doing right now is that much safer than grabbing a CD case from here and getting your, your music from there. But basically put all your CD music and just save it in the in the car as a computer, right? So for today's uh, video, what I'm gonna use is, uh, I guess I figured that my M needed a little bit of hug in its life and I recently bought a two-pack CD. It, it was a Walmart and the price was okay, so I just bought it. And this one here usually comes with, it's got two two discs, by the way. You know, hey, you guys remember how these things went? And so I'm gonna play and save some, some music over here. Uh, for people that don't remember how CDs worked, they would take precedence, uh, take priority over anything else I was playing. So here's one of the CDs. When you insert the CD, radio is playing, right? Basically, CD starts playing. The disc starts playing. So, look at that. It's reading the disc. Acquiring title information. See that grace note sign over there? Yeah, that's that's 
the technology that allows it to basically pick up the title of the song and it depends on how legally it was written because I've had some official looking uh, CDs but end up showing up as nothing over there but see did you notice that it um, well I probably didn't see that it's recording track 1 of 13 it's now what 759 just keep an eye on it uh, on my commute to work, we'll see how long it takes, basically, to record uh, a whole CD. The CD happens to have 13 tracks, and you could stop recording if you wanted, you know, like this. But I'll let it record, just wanted to show you what, uh, what it takes or what goes on. Alright. So, oh wow, it's already on track two, so it's pretty fast. Um, I'll, uh, I'm trying my best not to edit this video, so I'll probably just keep, like, recording it throughout. So, let's play with the menu. I'm just gonna use this button here. Menu. Track list. Record to... So, there's a lot of, there are a lot of things you can change. Those things that have been grayed out because I'm in motion right now. Uh, probably just, you know... Uh, well, grayed out because I'm driving at the moment, but can't really tell you about what all these are, <laughs> but I can tell you about this one. Well, see this? There's an automatic recording uh, tab over there, or line over there. It's a second one from the bottom. Yeah, so you can change that. You can have it such a way that whenever you put in your CD, it doesn't automatically start burning it, burning the disc, no, we didn't call it burning, we called it ripping, ripping the disc, right, so, but, as I said, I, I don't know, these guys somehow got a way to make it legal, I suppose ripping a CD is not illegal, distributing it is where it becomes illegal, but for now, I guess it's all, still all, all legit, so, get out of menu, it doesn't really allow me to do much, right, not while I'm driving, it's just, menu <laughs> it can show you the track list show you what's oh yeah there you go so it got these are the tracks off this CD right now so well we'll just keep watching 5 out of 13 not too bad um, and the thing is you can still play uh, what's going oh yeah I know what's going on the reason it's not really allowing me to do much is because uh, right now it's playing CD. It's not actually playing um, off, uh, what do you call it? It's not actually playing off uh, the music box. So let's do this, music box. There you go. And see, it still keeps recording, by the way. What I can't remember is when if you do FM. Yeah, still keeps recording, so that's that's pretty good. I mean, it still works in the background. So as much as the CD will interrupt whatever you're playing, it can keep recording in the background. But so music box, all right. And this is the menu I was looking for. Yeah, there you go. So what you do is edit music information, music box settings, and automatic recording right there. It's the second one from the top this time. You can turn it off if you don't want it to uh, automatically start ripping CDs as soon as you put them in. And then, if you have music in here that you'd like to delete, you know, for example, you bought a car with music and you just don't like it, keep going down till you can get to the middle one. Delete songs from the music box. And you can do it by album, you can do it by song, you can delete a particular song that you're listening to at the moment, right? So it's not, not really all that bad. Let's hit CD again. Oh, it actually tells you how much free space you got. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so this one still and as, as I showed you well if you could still play FM and stuff you can definitely skip the CD skip whatever's playing what's playing is on the left what's recording the recording progress is on the right oh I love this one change man oh yeah well, that's a, as I said I believe I'm 
I won't be allowed to monetize these vi this video anyway. Tupac's music is definitely copyrighted, right? I hope it is. I'll tell you what, the quality, mm, it's it's okay. It's definitely okay music quality. Um, it's not like I expected a five dollar CD to give me surround sound, but for some reason it doesn't sound very. I'm sure it was mixed and mastered at release, but it's not. Well, this is old music, maybe so it's good for the time. Ten out of thirteen, we're getting somewhere. Um, I don't know. I just, as I said, I could have stopped recording to. Uh, so that, you know, to kind of not have that space filler, but I was determined to not have to <laughs> edit the video. And we're looking at my, uh, my camera's been running for 11 minutes at this point, so there's, I mean, maybe 9 minutes to rip a 13, I don't know. I don't know. We'll look at the time. Someone else look at the time once the video is posted, and you can tell me what what times actually work out to. But so 11 out of 13. I just wanted to show the end. I wanna see what it says at the very end after it's done recording. Man, this is my Grace Note is pretty cool. Grace Note, as I said, is a software that it's a catalog of music. So when you play music, it listens to it and tells you hey it's like Siri Pandora basically for your <laughs> for your car all right let's do this oh better lighting good at the very end so this is working out just fine out of 13 we're getting there at about what thinking 8 of 7 is when it'll stop the progress was pretty fast pretty quick you can stop recording at any point I suppose if you wanted to stop recording right now you could too Oh, light again. Oh, there you go. CD is finished. That's dope. There you go. And you can delete it. Or rather, you can eject it. <laughs> Let me set this down for a second. Just clocking in. And I'm very determined, as I said, to not edit this video. So let me just get into work. parking spot right now. Okay, so let's look at our music collection. Menu. Music library. Albums. Oh, Queen. I love Queen, by the way. 
Ah, there you go. Greatest hits. That's the two pack one right there. All right. And as I said, you can menu, edit music information. You can change the uh, by album, update Grace Note. You can do all those things. Update Grace Note from a USB device. Edit information on the current song. This is the name of the track, the genre. This is actually a pretty well layered CD. Uh, you can change the artist. But basically, whatever it is you need to change, I thought it was going to allow me. You know, you can type in whatever you need from there. So let's do back. I need a back. Oh, it's deleting. Nope. That's not what we're trying to do here. And we're definitely not going to OK that. I don't know how you exit out of that. So just music library artists no um, albums no well you, you've seen you can do it by artists if you wanted to so you know what's playing right that's the one I, and I don't think I've changed it at all let's go back to the now playing yeah hasn't changed has it yep nope hasn't changed that's good so menu you can edit mu music information you could uh, update grace note I'm trying to think. There's a way you could delete music. No, music box settings. There you go. That's how you delete music. Um, you could delete songs from the music box. You could stop the setting to record automatically. Uh, you can see how much space you have. Man, there's so much space and use space over there. Um, 143 hours available. Uh, I don't know change in quality yeah definitely we want more more speed I guess uh, delete songs from music box uh, you can delete the current song if you don't like it which is one way to go you know in case you're listening to something with your family and you are not feeling it delete albums you can delete everything if you bought a car and you don't like anything that they said they have there uh, delete albums from music box you can pick you can select all of them all the way at the top right uh, you could Queen, I suppose, if you don't want it. Disc 2, this one, the one that we just recorded. I can delete that. Is there more? Oh, that's how you scroll. So let's do that. Let me delete the one I just recorded just for the sake of it. Let's see how long it takes to delete. Delete that. Yep. Yeah. And but it takes a lot to delete. I mean, you got to be deliberate about what you're trying to do. It takes some time. I wonder how trippy it gets if you delete something while playing the CD itself. But started at what eight twelve or eight eleven? I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it. I mean, oh, there you go. That's it. No more two pack over there. So. I'll definitely redo this later. I mean, I figured this is a good opportunity to just show the capabilities of this system and show you what the music box is, show what Grace Note does. I don't have any other CDs in this vehicle right now um, to show you. I think this is like a Kenny Rogers CD. This and I bought it before he passed away, by the way. I'm like my tastes in music are very eclectic. Was this? Oh, whoa, 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 I'm not trying to delete it. I was just trying to show what's going on. Music library. Uh, what? Let's see the albums that are available. Normal Tupac, which is right here, right? Gone. Which is which is fine. Um, let's see. There was a CD. This is CD one from the same group. Uh, I had started recording it some time back. But like, I can't remember. I just stopped. I, I needed to go somewhere. Just stopped, because I think, okay, same same steps. Acquiring title information. Do you notice that it says like track three out of twelve? So it had started recording, but I stopped it. And when you put it in, it just picks up from where it was. And for whatever reason, it does not show 
you did not see see disc one on the track list when I was doing it by album, right? So I suppose it just doesn't recognize it until until you've ripped the entire album. Uh, you know, you've gotten all the music from the album on there. Music library. Whoa, whoa, why is it not moving now? Oh, got a little frozen, I guess. Music library, albums. Right? Oh, there you go. So, you can do that. And it shows you you only have two songs over there. Which is, as I said, trippy. Let's, while we're looking at discs, right? Let's do this. So that is the CD one that I had kind of half recorded. Let me eject the CD. Just spinning pretty crazy in there. So now it shows up. I mean, yeah, sure enough, it shows up. And let me stick this back in. Reading the disc. Let's see what it's going to be writing. 4 out of 12, 3 out of 12 still, I don't know. 4 out of 12, which means if I check my grace note, I should have at least 3, right? My music box, now I'm calling it grace note, huh? Only two for now. I, I don't know at what point it recognizes that hey, we have a third, third song on there now. But keep your head up and temptations, which is according to this track list. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't have number two showing up. I, I don't know how it records them, but as I said, it shows keep your head up then temptations. I don't know why this one's not showing up, but anyway, um, this video has been way longer than. I usually do or I wanted it to be I, I honestly I didn't know how long it was gonna be I was just recording stuff so yeah I hope that video ends up being useful for something considering I won't get any money out of it because it's got copyrighted music all right have a productive day y'all